Step into the world of I Am a Fugitive from a Chain Gang, a powerful film from 1932. This movie follows the journey of a man who is wrongly convicted and forced to work in a chain gang. As he fights for freedom, the film takes you through a roller coaster of emotions from funny to shocking to sad moments. Stick around for some interesting facts about the movie. What makes this film stand the test of time? Its themes of unfairness, determination, and the human spirit still connect with people today. As you watch, think about your favorite memory or personal experience with this movie. Share your stories and memories in the comments below. Get your popcorn ready for an unforgettable cinematic adventure. In 1932, a groundbreaking movie hit the screens, shaking the cinematic scene. Imagine a powerful tale of a man named James Allen, played by Paul Mooney, facing unjust circumstances. This film vividly portrays the struggles of a man wronged by the system during the challenging times of the Great Depression. Taking us back to the 1930s, it serves as a reflection of the harsh realities of society. The story revolves around James, a World War I veteran wrongly convicted and sentenced to a brutal chain gang. His haunting journey, escaping the chains of injustice, resonated with audiences, leaving a lasting impact. This movie became more than just a cinematic experience. It became a poignant commentary on legal system flaws and the resilience of the human spirit. Its influence sparked conversations about societal injustices and the need for reform. In the world of cinema, this film is a milestone, showcasing Paul Mooney's exceptional performance. The storytelling and characters etched this movie into history. Its contribution to the cinematic world is undeniable, offering a glimpse into a dark chapter of American history. As we delve into the compelling narrative of this powerful film, let's remember the lasting legacy it leaves behind, challenging us to question and seek justice. Paul Mooney, known for his impressive performances, made a lasting impression during Hollywood's golden era. His role in I Am a Fugitive from a chain gang gained widespread acclaim, bringing him into the spotlight and solidifying his status as a major actor. Despite initial hesitations from Warner Brothers studio leaders Jack L. Warner and Daryl F. Zanuck championed the project, recognizing its potential to connect with audiences through its genuine emotion and social commentary. Mooney faced challenges on his path to stardom, but his commitment to his craft was evident in every role he took on. His skill in becoming his characters with authenticity earned him praise, including the prestigious Best Actor Oscar for his captivating performance. Beyond the glitz of Hollywood, Mooney's impact lives on, with his final resting place at Hollywood Memorial Cemetery serving as a poignant reminder of his significant role in the film industry. In the history of cinema, Paul Mooney is remembered for his excellence, celebrated by generations of movie fans. His portrayal in I Am a Fugitive from a Chain Gang continues to connect with audiences, showcasing the timeless significance of his work. Through his performances, Mooney brought characters to life, leaving a lasting impression on the collective awareness. In the realm of filmmaking, pivotal moments often define a director's trajectory. One such instance occurred when a filmmaker chose to direct a compelling movie. This decision set the course of their artistic journey, elevating what could have been just another film into a transformative project. Adding to the anticipation was the voice of actor Lionel Atwill in the trailer, which added depth to audience expectations. The collaboration between director and actor hinted at the nuanced storytelling ahead, setting the stage for a memorable cinematic experience. Exploring the cast reveals the lead actor, whose connection to future projects was subtly established through a book within another film. This detail underscores how decisions and chance encounters shape both movies and the careers of those involved. Filmmaking is a series of interconnected choices, each contributing to the larger narrative. From script selection to casting decisions and unexpected connections between films, every step influences the movie and its creator's paths. In the grand scheme of cinematic storytelling, decisions and serendipitous encounters create a compelling narrative. The director's choice to helm this project instead of another became a turning point, highlighting the delicate balance between intention and chance in filmmaking. As audiences await the unveiling of this creation, the intricacies shaping movies and the individuals behind them become all the more apparent. Edward Ellis, known for his roles as crooks and shady characters on Broadway in the 1920s, contributed to the 1932 movie. Glenda Farrell, a lifelong conservative Republican, also featured in the film. Paul Mooney, known for his selective roles resulting in superior quality films, was part of the cast. Their collective talents added depth to the movie's narrative, 
enhancing its impact on audiences. In the early 19s, Alan Jenkins, a talented actor just out of drama school, began his acting career. He moved from being a student to performing on stage and in movies, impressing audiences with his skills. Meanwhile, Preston Foster in Southern California enjoyed fishing for marlin. He found peace and excitement in the challenge of catching these big fish away from the busy world of Hollywood. In the midst of Hollywood's glamour, Robert Warwick, a famous actor, had to make a big decision in 1936. He had to think hard about whether to join the Screen Actors Guild, which would affect the rights of actors in the industry. These three people, with their different talents and interests, played important roles in the early days of Hollywood. Their contributions, whether on stage, on screen, or out at sea, have left a lasting impact on the movie industry as we know it today. In three highly praised movies that earned nominations for the esteemed Best Picture Academy Award, Glenda Farrell unquestionably left a lasting impression, showcasing her exceptional talent as an actress. One specific film, where Spencer Tracy was initially considered for an important role, stands out as proof of Farrell's varied and captivating performances. Furthermore, beyond the glamour of Hollywood, Glenda Farrell's off-screen stories added an interesting layer to her character. An amusing incident involved her pet cat, leading her to take the cat to a Hollywood eye doctor for glasses. The decision came from the cat's frequent collisions with furniture, providing a charming and funny peek into the actress's life outside the cinematic spotlight. These interesting details contribute to the many aspects of Glenda Farrell's legacy, highlighting not only her on-screen skills, but also her unique and delightful off-screen moments. The intersection of Hollywood glamour and the everyday quirks of a beloved actress creates a richer story around her career and personal life. In essence, Glenda Farrell's influence goes beyond the roles she played, making her a memorable figure in the history of Hollywood. This captivating mix of talent, behind-the-scenes stories, and a touch of whimsy underscores the timeless charm of Glenda Farrell's impact on the silver screen. In casting for the film, they enlisted Preston Foster, a former professional wrestler. Sally Blaine, who later married Norman Foster, initially encountered him while he was courting her sister Loretta Young. Their paths crossed again in England in 1935, courtesy of a dinner party hosted by Colleen Moore. Sally had been working in England for about a year by then. Paul Mooney's notable performance in another Warner Brothers film, The Life of Emile Zola, led the studio to give him the billing of Mr. Paul Mooney, impressed by the prestige they felt he brought. In a classic movie, an actor named Robert McQuaid played a role that could fit into many situations. There's a scene where rocks are being broken, and it's filmed in a real quarry in Chatsworth Cut. After escaping from a tough situation, the main character, James Allen, changed his name to Alan James and got a job at the Tri-State Engineering Company. He started off making four hours in a day, then climbed up the ladder, earning nine hours in a day in 1926, 12 hours in 1927, and 14 in 1929. And today's money, that would be like going from 15,688 to 54,912 a year. The story of James Allen's journey in the movie shows how hard it can be to make things right in a world that's not always fair. It's a story that shows how people can keep going even when things get tough. <laughs>